Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming out. My name is Spence Leafdale. I'm on the, one of the board directors for the Canyon Country Advisory Committee. But one of the things I wanted to ask you, how many of you remember in 2007 where we had the uh, issue of the open space district? Okay. I am also the chair of the Financial Accountability, Accountability Audit Panel, which is the oversight committee for um, the open space district, and to ensure that the money is spent properly and that um, property is uh, acquired the way it's supposed to be and all the rules are followed. So at our last meeting, we found that at least two properties, and they're calling it one property, and that's fine. It's called the Williams property, and it's east of here, has been purchased outside of the Three Mile Benefit District. And to refresh your memory, the Three Mile Benefit District is a radius of three miles outside the city limit of the city of Santa Clarita. And it's called a benefit district because for the, the open space to be a benefit to the people who live in the city of Santa Clarita, it can be no further out uh, beyond the city limits than three miles. So in essence, it's a, a radius of three miles um, <clears throat> past the city boundaries. So they've purchased a piece of property, I believe it's about 56 acres. But I want to make you aware of that, that we have discovered that. <clears throat> I have called a special meeting of the Financial Accountability Audit Panel. It will be on October 2nd. It will be a Brown Act meeting. It will be noticed. It's open to the public. If you would like to come, it's on October 2nd, City Hall in the, one of those rooms are on, on the City Hall. I forget the names. There's two. Could be the Orchard Room, but at any rate, they'll be, we'll be there, you'll be able to find us. Um, and the city will make their presentation of, hey, you know, we made a mistake and we shouldn't have done that, or yes, we did it, but we believe we can, and this is our interpretation and our reason for that. Um, so if you would like to come as the chairperson of that, I'm certainly inviting you and you can let anybody know about it that you'd like to let know about it. Um, I believe they've made a mistake. I think they're aware of it and I think it'll be righted. But I just want to let you know that that financial accountability audit panel is there for a reason and we're doing what we're charged with doing. Okay? One, one second. And then um, there's another issue of another piece of property that they purchased and it's a bigger piece of property. Part of it's within the three mile special benefit district and part of it is outside. So we're asking for an interpretation. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're asking for an interpretation of um, if it's appropriate for the city to do that, to purchase part within the three mile special benefit district and part outside. And all I'm doing at this point is asking for an interpretation of that and not pointing any fingers or anything like that, just asking for an interpretation. We're not saying at this point that anything was done wrong, just asking is that, can that be done? I just wanted to ask you, can you tell us how, how far outside of that three miles? I think it's right around 4.35 miles, but don't hold me to that. It, but it, it makes no difference. If it's 10 feet outside, the issue becomes that it's out. And, and, and the audit panel is there to keep an eye on that. And when you get your property tax bill, you're paying for that. And that's one of the discussions that we had in the committee when we formed this open space district was, gee, if I live in Valencia and you're buying property 10 miles east of Canyon Country, how's that benefit me? Or vice versa, they're buying something out by Ventura County and you live in Canyon Country and on the east side, how does that benefit you? And so <clears throat> this three mile benefit district is there for that reason. So. Just so you guys know about it, I wanted to keep you apprised of it, and we are watching, and, um, we ex and, and we are advisory only, so we'll listen to what they have to say, and then we'll make an, advise an advisement of what we think city council should do. Yes? How does that happen? I mean, who's the committee that okays a sale? It obviously well, takes an escrow period. Well, ultimately what happens is the city council approves it. Now, how did it happen in this case? I don't know. I, I truly don't. Well, know. who's accountable to Excuse know? Me? Who's accountable to know? Well, the the person that's ultimately accountable will be the the count, city council. But in this case, um, 
I believe it was probably somewhere in the Parks and Recreation Department because they're the ones that, that work on that. But I think it was a mistake. So are you, are you asking me, is, do I ultimately think somebody should be held accountable? Not in this case. No, no, it's done. It's over. Well, no, it's not over. Oh, it's because, not over. Well, there's a number of things we could do, depending on what the outcome is, and I don't want to prejudge, but what could happen is we could say, okay, we buy your, your uh, argument, and yeah, you're right. Or we could do nothing about it. Or we could say something to the effect of, yeah, you made a mistake, don't let it happen again. Or we could advise, gee, you spent money out of the open space district that you shouldn't have because you didn't follow the rules, mistakenly or otherwise, whatever it may be. So now you can take the money out of the general fund and pay the open space district the money that, that should be paid. It could be something like that. Okay. So I'm so, just trying to understand, in other words, but it, it was a purchase, a money purchase, mm -hmm. and it took time. I, is, it, is it like a normal sale where you go yes, through escrow? Yes, there's, there's escrow, goes escrow and, and all that. And all that. Yeah. And, and nobody caught it that it was three on the past? Well, I would, I would certainly hope that. It was never brought to anyone's attention then? Well, evidently not until we found out about it. But my, my Sounds, issue tonight is not to say that somebody's going out and doing things they shouldn't do purposely. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying to you is that um, it was a contentious district that was formed to begin with. There, the state legislature has seen fit that on many things there has to be an oversight committee, whether it be a uh, financial accountability audit panel or whatever they might want to call it. Like I'm on the Measure SA oversight committee as well from the school district which was like, I think, $600 million or something like that. But the point being is that we're there for a reason. And so all I'm really telling you tonight is this is what we've discovered. We're doing what we're there for, and I wanted to let you know that. And now we're taking it back to the city at a, at a meeting, special meeting that we called of this group to say, okay, how did this happen? So that we can make our recommendation to the city council how we think it should be taken care of. I'm not placing any blame. Okay? Rick? Yeah, I understand you're not placing any blame, but what I'm concerned about is what the details of this sale were. Who was it purchased from uh, and where and why? Because if it was, then there may very well be some kind of impropriety, but I think somebody should find out what that is. Right, and that's what we'll intend to do on the 2nd of October, and that's why I'm inviting you. And ultimately what I'm telling you is that that's our responsibility, that's what we're charged with, and, and each one of us is appointed by a different council person. And um, the council people that know about it, their comment to me is you're doing your job, and thank you. And what time is that meeting? 6, 6 p.m. Okay. okay. Um, so, like I said, my issue tonight is to let you know that we're there. We're watching. That's what, what we're doing. That's what we're expected to do. Time to time there might be a hiccup, you know. So if that's the case, if it's something else, we'll... We'll find that out, and if that's if it's something other than a hiccup or a mistake, then we'll deal with that when the time comes. But um, that's what we're there for, and the message is to you, and the message is to the city is that we're there, and we're going to, as long as we're there, we're going to do our job. Okay? That's, that's all I am. Thanks for your attention, and I hope you can come on the 2nd of October. Well, that's a, yeah, how appropriate. It's exactly what we were talking about, having a, uh, uh, an independent uh, look at what's being done and what's being procured. And so uh, I can understand what your concerns are. And I, uh, I also got, you have to realize that not only uh, does, uh, the, do they have to satisfy themselves, but they have to satisfy you as well. And that's exactly the kind of thing that uh, the civil grand jury was, uh, could take as a complaint if, in fact, you believe that it was improperly done and they don't remedy it. So um, I'm sure that questions will get asked at that meeting. And by the way, you have the ability to speak at that meeting. So if you have those kind of questions and they don't get asked, uh, you have the ability to go do that as well. So I think this is just an example of, of why it's important to have oversight of things that are, uh, are being done, especially 
when it's about financial matters. 